<laughs> this isn't March Madness. This is either. a... Fuck it. It's a Lowe's commercial. <laughs> the Bayside Report, everybody. Welcome to the episode. Bryant Turk here, live with us. Thanks for having me. This fucking music's horrible, but we don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's better than the other shit we were playing. It's March. There's beer. This is March. There's basketball. There's been upsets. There's sunshine. There's gambling. There's whatever the fuck you want. Oh, yeah. There's Chick-fil-A. And there's Miller Lite. Welcome to the episode, everybody. Remind me to pay you for that. You're going to get trained on this little <laughs> fucker over here. Welcome to the Bayside Report. 22. New, new studio for the evening. New studio. My shit's loud, too. Yeah, very. There we go. That's way better. Yeah. What's going on, Turk? We're here. We're live. We've had fucking upsets. We just had upsets galore, and, you know, we're getting ready for the evening slate. It should be a, another good eight games. we got Tracy Wolfson, I don't know, spitting some sort of Auburn facts right now, I'm sure. We have, we have Jim Nance. We got fucking... Dude, Kevin Harlan's in Orlando. I'm trying to, you know... See what he's doing on a Saturday evening after I'm up there for the games. This this motherfucker's going on Saturday. Yeah. I'm taking the Valspar Championship. We're taking the Bayside Report. Sports Report. I'm splitting duty. I'm going. We're going to be all over uh, the state of Florida. We're all over the fucking state of Florida. We're all over the place. But you got, what, we had the Virginia upset earlier. Furman. Yeah, that was awesome. Buzzer beater, pretty much. Or not buzzer beater, but, you know, a couple seconds, a couple ticks on the clock still. And then Prince, Princeton got the fucking win. Yeah, Princeton just closed it up, closed up the deal. I, I was shocked. I thought I had Arizona in my final four, but who cares about my bracket? It's busted. We're, yeah. we're busted. busted. I think mine's good. I think Pitt's Pitt's gonna get the fucking <laughs> win tomorrow. St. Patrick's Day, green beer, die the fucking oh, it's river gonna be green. Fantastic. It's gonna be great. But yeah, so I had the Pittsburgh one. So it was great. Other than the spirit, I think I'm done with spirit, dude. I think I I can't do spirit anymore. I Is mean, that where you flew? Yeah, out of Tampa. Fucking horrible. Yeah, and. The flight was delayed. We left at like 1, 30, 1 12.30. You left Florida. Yeah, one thirty. So oh the, air, the airport was fucked. I get there. You were there at 6 p.m. You I got there. drunk off your ass. I, I, ate a, I ate some fun candy. <laughs> I had a few beers. I, the Chick-fil-A, that was the first Chick-fil-A experience of my life. That was just tragic. There was a huge brawl going on in the kitchen. Waited in line for a half hour. The one person in training she had the trainee badge on and she was cussing out her manager and then oh they like the airport you know the airport manager comes over and he's just standing there watching it and then <laughs> the lines long and then a pregnant lady fell in line she was sitting on a suitcase and it fell out of her so she fell that was a concern people were surrounding her it was a fucking mess that was all at dinner time too you were there all night that was all that was literally i lived there and that yeah. for the listeners who don't know i like to hang out at the airport i think and th- these people give me shit, but I think you should be able to hang out. He was there for way too long. I think you should be able to hang out. Oh, we just tipped off. Auburn and Iowa tipped off. Yeah, and we got Duke ORU coming up next in Orlando. I wish I could be there, but we'll get there Saturday. But it was fun. I caught a little buzz. I edited the last week's podcast. And then I sat I sat third row I like a fucking high-level executive flying first class on Spirit, like a gentleman. And... <laughs> Just the one thing, though, it, it never changes. The people bull rush. The people bull rush. And I get it. It was a late flight. We got in at 1.30. I understand. You want to get on. But this old man, he's probably about 75. Him and his wife bull rushed the fucking exit. He almost caught an elbow oh to the God. stomach. I can't Those stand are that the worst. shit. They're the worst. I can't stand yeah, that. What the fuck? Sit down. And then the flight back here, we'll get into the trip. <clears throat> you know, it was, it was a quick trip. It was cold. But we had the game. Yeah, you together. didn't have sunshine and pineapples up. In I sat. I sat inside for two days straight. I didn't go outside until Friday. So we did shady side, little shady grove action. That's nice. It was great. Just for dinner. Just for dinner. Good drinks. food. Good I, food. I got drunk off three beers like usual. <laughs> two your <beers>. texts. <laughs> your texts were off the rails. Garrett has a thing where he just will spam text you twenty different messages, and none of them are coherent or tell a story it's just madness so i i could pick up pretty easily you it's, had a couple. it's ideas Brent, pop your phone out we had it there it's just <laughs> idea text so we had the one job scanning today i wanted to get into job scanning I, we just get a high paying six-figure job at a massive company and you just go on autopilot you know you just send a few emails a day you see how long you can let it run yeah we texted a lot today. <laughs> it's, it's non-stop it it's non-stop ideas there was a lot of good ideas but 
that was good. So we did we did that, then back to Oakland and Pittsburgh, saw the whole Pitt neighborhood. It's fucking crazy. Have you seen the new the the McKee one, the gas station up no, the street? No, it's it's unrecognizable. Like the marathon? Yeah, unrecognizable. Well, I know it's not there anymore. Uh, it's a huge, probably about fifteen stories. No shit. All right. Yeah, it's like is a, it like an office building or apartments? It looks like both. It's going to oh, be okay. apartments. Yeah. I think there's going to be a store on the floor. It's not done yet. Yeah, but shit's fucking nuts. So that I mean, everything else looks the same. There's like. A few new taco places. You have the where the O was. You have the new taco place. There it is. Yeah, the job scan. Uh, hey, you want me to read it? That's a great idea. Read the text. <laughs> it's a link from Facebook. Hashtag overemployed. Half, hashtag software engineer with two secret full time job full time jobs. Why are we not scamming like this? We could easily have Chat GPT <laughs> write resumes for high paying software jobs and just see how far we can make it. Let's start doing this. That's one idea. What That's about, one idea. Okay, the next idea. What about fleeing the country? Take it yeah, home, selling go to Colum- cars. Go to Colombia, sell everything. Sell all your stocks, cash out that 401k <laughs> you fucking got. Liquidate everything you have and flee to, flee to Colombia. All I need is my mixer, my computer, <laughs> and we're fucking going to Colombia. <laughs> I'm serious. You could, I'll get a job selling, selling something, hats or empanadas on the street Sh- shirts for an only fans shirts for an only what if i get that job that'd be wild. dude what if so i messaged this in a drunken hey she puts a story up on her instagram and says that she needs an inventory manager and hey lucky me i have some experience in that field so i i dm her when i'm when i'm failing myself three sheets to the wind and she wanted a female though she said i need a female inventory manager I said, well, I, I'm a male, but I got all the other qualifications, and I live in Tampa. So I didn't hear from her today. She, she wanted to set up a call. Haven't heard back. But what if I move to Miami and do only – what? but she doesn't have an online yeah, site. I just don't know what her inventory I don't know be. what her inventory like – Managing a website that she doesn't have. I, th- I think it's starting. She's, she's building out the framework. Oh. So we're going to – Be good for the resume. Yeah, so I'm moving to Miami in a month or two. <laughs> I'm going to do that. And – then Colombia, Colombia's next. Yeah, well, that's an easy flight from Miami. So, but anyways, back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, back to the Pittsburgh. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. Well, the, early St. Patty's early, Day. The, I was just going to per, say the parade. What the fuck? The week before, I it worked out because I was just happening to visit, so it worked out. So you know, got to see everyone in Mount Washington. Went to McFadden's. But I forgot how this, the floor is like glue. Oh, it's the worst. The floor is like glue. And that yeah. place is a fucking maze. You get, it's a maze of people. And then. Were you there during the day? Yeah. Like two o'clock. North Shore could not be. Oh, I saw you guys were at Tequila Cowboy too. And I was like, that that's was just fun. not a place I wanted to celebrate St. Patrick's Day though. So Tequila I, Cowboy was actually great. Really? It was Okay. Great. All right. But McFadden's was, you know. Horrible. Underage Duquesne students. Horrible. Trying to. Dancing on the bar. Yeah. Dance that's on all the bar it was. and get a free drink. That and but the thing is, some of the girls that dance on the bar are like thirty. It's like, come on, yeah. you gotta hang it up. Or when like the dudes try and climb up. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I've never seen. You've never seen that. I feel like I. I feel oh like my I'd god, it's hilarious. I, I'm surprised you haven't actually. I might have to try and go up <laughs> next time I'm home. But no, it was that was fine. So we did McFadden's, and I started hitting the brownout phase there. But I saw like I saw a shit ton of people from Hobo I haven't seen in years. Years. Year. But that was cool. Really? So then we went to Tequila Cowboy, live band playing, dead, dead, no cover. I'm sure. No no, no trouble. It I'm was... telling you, that's just not like a St. Paddy's Day no. type. I'm surprised you guys weren't at Carson City or Mario's. Couldn't get the, everyone's washed up, Turk. No yeah. One, no, no one wants to fucking. Not washed up enough for TC in the middle of the day. But that's, I don't know, that's, Pitt, the, Pitt, the Pittsburgh scene, is, I feel like it's changed a lot since we've been gone. It was... It, that north, the North Shore, has always been popular, but now yeah. it's really the the South Side. Once the South Side started turning into a, a war zone past one a.m., it really yeah. you know. That's why I figured day drink you go to. I figured we yeah. day. I figured we'd walk down the sh- Jane Street and Sarah Street for old times' sake. Yeah, kick it around the block. But it was one fun. More time. It was great, and then it was you know got to bed early, but the time changed. So the time change comes into play, <laughs> and you had like a five a.m. flight. So I'm still I'm still a little fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to the airport, and so we get up at one. It was one fifty. No, it was twelve fifty nine to one o'clock. When did it, when does it switch over? When it hits 
two. Two. Yeah. So it was about to hit two. We can do math. Yeah. We can. Two. We're, working, we're done with the. This is the last year of it, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Hopefully. So the, the clock switched over, and it was boom. Have to go to the airport. So that hour, yeah. that hour sucked. But I was still filling myself a little bit. Ate some more fun candy. Got on the plane. Got through TSA. Sat in the window seat. Slept the whole time. I wake up in sunny Florida, but I did. I broke a personal record. I took probably the biggest shit of my life when I got home. It, dude, this thing was huge. And my, you, you didn't like go before you left or, you know, no. preemptive shit before you leave for the airport? I was I was a warrior yeah. that Sunday. Yeah. I didn't drink. The last sip of water I had was at 3.20 a.m. Dear God. I didn't have another sip of water until about 2 o'clock p.m. I came. I literally released the Kraken and went right to bed. <laughs> But I'm, this yeah, that was crazy. Your dad picked you up and you just go, go tell your story. Tell your story. <laughs> Him, he, so he he's a smart guy, but he gets flustered in in unfamiliar environment. So he's calling me, motherfucker. Where the fuck are you? I can't figure this airport out. Meanwhile, I'm the only person standing outside. <laughs> yeah, it was early as hell. It's yeah, eight thirty in yeah. the morning. But he picks me up. He he jumps out of the car. He's like, "You're driving." I was like, "Dude, you can't drive." Up through it, he's like, "No," he goes, "No, you're driving." It's it was like, it was your car. So I drove home with this shit, this literal shit, just boiling in me. <laughs> but then I released it, and it, it felt like I get. I felt like I I felt the weight loss from it. But that was that was the trip. That happened. I had the way. Frenchie. I had the Frenchie. Oh yeah, I that saw, was I saw your video. That, that was, was the reason why it was, was so big. Was it a holy experience? It was. It was holy. It was. So we were DMing on Instagram. I was like, Frenchie, what's going on, dude? You're not open? Because I tried the first night and Friday when I was there. And he's like, nah, it hasn't been the same since you guys left. You know, it's, it's dead nowadays, but. Wow, no way. So you tried going multiple I times. I DMed them on Instagram. I, <laughs> I have the receipts. So then I, I just sent an, an Uber Eats prayer at about eight o'clock after the day, after the onslaught. Dude, that's such a good drunk food too. Like, And it was good. It was it's a holy experience. I couldn't finish it all. I got three quarters. Wow! Through. I was like, all right. From you too. Like yeah. that's that's saying a lot. Well, that's good. I'm I'm glad you had a good trip. I'm working on my one bite skills. I got the <laughs> I almost like, got the fucking burger down in one bite, but I got the two bite down. Yeah, we did the checkers challenge here. Just made it up. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> we we door dashed food at I don't know. We door dashed checkers at like two thirty in the morning. About, about probably three, three. i was like garrett you want a cheeseburger <laughs> he goes yeah yeah I, I look up and it's just gone already i it, it, you're amazing i need to get I, not the vol they need there needs to be a bite competition if you yeah it, a bite radius. it's not the volume of food you eat but it's when like when you get it placed in front of you how quickly it goes down yeah it's like two bites yeah the chicken I, tender in, in in one bite was just ridiculous <laughs> i i can't handle the volume well I'm no, not, I'm not a volume eater. I'm a, I'm a one. I'm a short spurt. You'd be short like spurt. You're like, uh, yeah. You're like a, what is it? Forty yard dash. Did you did you do track? No, no. Did I, you? I tried. Yeah, I got disqualified <laughs> three times. I did the javelin. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know why. I was the I was five foot three. I never knew this. Five three, one hundred twenty. Yeah, me and Yoho tried the javelin for three weeks, and I think he was. No, we were both about the same. You know, we gave it a good effort. I couldn't get the, you know, I've got short little fucking It's arms. like the form is yeah. tough. I thought you were going to say you like ran. I should have. Yeah. I, I don't. Well, like you wouldn't be me in a race. We I've, tried that. You know, I have slow fucking feet. I'm, <laughs> I got I got these brick feet. I'm not a, I'm not a great runner. <laughs> but yeah, I, I swore. I swore. That was the first disqualification. I, I said, fuck. And they're like disqualified. And then I crossed the line and they're like, yep, you're Dude, gone. This reminds me. Wait, you crossed the line. I crossed the line and then I swore. So it was a double. He, he double disqualified me. <laughs> double fault. It's about 16 years old. And then you said, nah, I'm good. I never went back. Yeah. That's, went uh, back. That reminds me what year I quit baseball. Sophomore year. Um, it was like a spring, a spring practice or workout or something. And we're playing catch and someone threw it over my head and i go what the hell and coach is standing <laughs> you know how he was he yeah. was oh, so yeah. strict <laughs> like such a hardo he was standing right behind me and i said what the hell and he literally made me run like four laps around the track 
I was like, this is this is absurd. I'm not putting up with this. I, I don't even play. <laughs> I don't even play. He was like a little Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. He fucking, yeah. He wrote, oh, look at Bruce Pearl with that tan. He's a good guy. Yeah, wow. Bruce, Bruce Pearl's not a good guy. Spent, no, no, no. No, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce not a good guy. Looks like he's been spending some time in Boca Raton or something, though. That's... Or a tanning bed. Can't Auburn. really tell. The Auburn Tanning Center. Yeah, yeah, that's where is Auburn? I know it's Alabama. in Alabama, but like it's like middle of the middle of the state. It's by Birmingham, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What my perspective really changed. I I always thought Auburn was tropical and then war, you know, warm all the time. But once you realize Tampa's not even that it's a huge wake it's, up call. The yeah. south the south is really not much different than like West Virginia. Like Georgia and West Virginia are pretty different but they're also kind of similar in a way does georgia Climate. georgia doesn't get a lot of snow though like precipitation no they freak they flip they out anytime it coats right i mean i wouldn't compare that to west virginia then no they're in the mountains they get, Dude, they get that crazy was, snow. when you drove here that was like the worst fucking part right west virginia or no south carolina yeah I south carolina with like i4 or yeah i4 yeah, I think it was I-4 in South Carolina. That was really bad, too. Like, on your way into Florida. Horrible. And it's just, like... Because they're all going... All those, you know, those, like, shipping container trucks are on their way to... Oh, the Savannah Port. Yeah, dude. So, like, when you're in that area, it's only two lanes both ways, too. So, it's, like, not... Like, you can't go anywhere. No, you're stuck. And when you pass them, they're swerving, and it's <laughs> just... It's a freaking nightmare is what it is, so... Yeah, that that was probably the worst part. But typically, yeah, like when my family would drive to like Myrtle Beach and stuff, West Virginia was always like the longest part of the trip. And it, no one would th- you would think, well, no, West yeah, West Virginia, yeah, South Carolina is a lot bigger than people realize. With yeah, the mountains and then all of that shit. I don't think I'll ever do that drive again. I'd at least make it a vacation. I'd stop in Savannah and then Charlotte and then maybe yeah. somewhere in the mountain, the Blue Ridges. You're so hell bent on like. I have furniture and like I need to get down there because I need to get my apartment keys like that sort of thing but if you had time to enjoy it I'm sure it's a lot better you can make detours and pit stops and different like enjoyable locations yeah. <laughs> other stop than stop in the mountains yeah other than staying at some random hotel in the middle of South Carolina because you're tired and that's what my, need to sleep my parents oh my dad dude he's coming on the show everyone my dad We'll be on the podcast at some point to speak his mind. Getting Jimmy B on. Hopefully after four or five Miller Lights. <laughs> he, he just has That'll to, be a treat. He has to speak his mind about a few figures in the political sphere. So we're going to let him come on and rant it out because he is a compelling case. But dude, I, the retirement has really put him in another atmosphere. It's just Miller Light is always within a reach. You're lounging. <laughs> Bike and Miller Light. That's it. And golf. Did it relax him? Like, he's not... Like, does he relax? Like, I don't know. I feel like retirement is all about, like, you know, just... He's kicking your feet up and... He's amped the fuck up, dude. (laughs) He's ready to... He's ready to run for office at this point. He's, I think he's not bored. He finds shit to do. He's a, he's a handy guy, you know? He'll just fuck around the house. This would be a good outlet for him. I think it would. I think he needs... He goes, I can't talk. I can't talk. Fine. Like that. It doesn't matter, dude. We need the Pittsburghies on, on, on the airwaves. And even when I'm up there in a few weeks i'm just gonna sit him down and just let him let him go because he has so much shit about on his mind <laughs> on his mind. all older folks just have a lot of you know they have a lot of thoughts about a lot of things and when, when i told him about this i was like he's probably not gonna even know what a podcast is or support it yeah two two hours later five million lights tell your fucking podcast it <laughs> hillary clinton's an evil bitch and i need i have a lot more i gotta say about that <laughs> i'm like all right <laughs> good preview for what's to come we'll have you yeah it's it's gonna be a good rant yeah jeez auburn jumping out early here comes iowa nice dish nice dish that was a real good pass what did we bet dude we bet so much yeah there's a lot going on i can't auburn auburn is the main focus right now auburn spread yes but you also had first half right oh what first half yeah i did take a first half i took the first half over 71 no did you I think it's okay. toast. Okay. It's fucking, it's fucking <laughs> twenty-four points ten minutes in. <laughs> yeah, that ain't good. Did you you watched every game today, right? Oh yeah, I, dude. March Madness is it's like last night. I was so I was like a giddy child. It was like Christmas Eve. Why didn't just, I take work off? I always I always underestimate March Madness. Yeah, half day tomorrow. It's just like you can't even try and act like you're doing work 
because there's just so much going on. Like Furman, Virginia was, I think it tipped at like 1240. So what? Like 2 p.m. There's like upsets galore already. And it was early. You're screaming at your TVs and like you just don't want to. De- I just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> like, Mar- like March Madness is legitimately up there with Christmas and Christmas Eve for me. So this is a great weekend. I can't wait to get like when we went to that Florida, Ohio game. Just the college basketball oh, the atmosphere, atmosphere is just so, so much different than pretty much every, every sport. That's where you're going to be. Yeah, I'll be, there. I'll be there. It's a nicer. It looks nice. Amway does look nice. Okay, I swear most Florida things are nice. Yeah. Amway's getting aged. It is a little bit. It's a little yeah, aged. I agree with that. I don't know how they're going to ever replace it. I guess I never saw it when it was new, but from being there a yeah. couple times it's fine it's fine it's renovated yeah. you could tell it's a 90s arena though yeah but this this one's brand motherfucking new oh you got stan van gundy look at those three would you not want to run into those three at a restaurant bar do you, dan bonner like stan van would have some stories that would be awesome do you think stan which one of them gets gets the most rowdy i think harlan's an early i think harlan and bonner are early yeah, early bed guy. Nah. Bonner seems normal. Harlan a little creepy. He might be out late. He might I, have an edge. Yeah, he might. He might get a little weird. Harlan's a uh, Harlan's hitting on the young twenty year olds. Yeah, Van Gundy seems like a. He's just kind of drinking a glass of wine or maybe maybe a. Draft I mean, he, he's a pro's pro. He knows yeah. what he's doing. He he's been around. Yeah, he's been around those guys. All, he, all I mean, all these guys have been around forever though. Like Dan Bonner is an ACC legend. Like I've never even heard of him. Really, no. Dan, Dan Bonner and West Durham. Um, call like mid afternoon, like big ACC games, like on like a Saturday. I see. Yeah. So Dan Bonner is a good one. I he's, like him a lot. He might get down then. Yeah. I think he's actually, um, I think he's an Avonworth guy. I think he's a PA guy. <laughs> I, 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 Look I'm, it up. Yeah. Bring the phone up. Yeah. I'm pretty positive he is. I think we had this discussion earlier in the year. I think Pitt was playing and they were talking about, you know, Nelly. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were text, we were texting that. about it. And, uh, and he brought up like Avonworth and PA and stuff. And um, then we've or- so we've Oral Roberts spread for the full game, and I forget what it was, it was like seven and a half, something like that. Six and a half. Uh, I got I got red hot and the le- legal the legal lines. I don't know what it is. The bet online. I can I can never get on the right side of of the line. It's a grind. It's so, a grind. So it says he was born born in Pittsburgh. That's all I can come up with. Where at does it say? No. Just Pittsburgh. No, he played at UVA, which I knew, but South Oakland. I, I, dude, I think it's Avonworth. We'll have to hit up our local folk. Yeah, look, see there, Pittsburgh, PA. Damn, he's seventy. He doesn't look seventy. Yeah, he, he's pretty. He's pretty well. Look, yeah, he's definitely the, the first bad. person to come up, West Durham. <laughs> he's definitely. He's definitely an early sleeper. There's an air ball from Duke. Wow, Duke's dude. Duke's one of those teams that always gets knocked out early here and there but they're hot. <laughs> coming off of final four but they're hot in an right? acc championship this year that yeah, they're very hot like eight eight won their last eight games like nine or last ten something like that oh duke and unc played last year in the yeah that was a treat we were all uh yeah we were all at the bar night. watching it together and it was top three night <laughs> of my life sending coach k to retirement the cp heard uh, he was fine he like he was upset, but you know he wasn't like. I love the rivalry. He wasn't like crying or anything. I love the there. There are a lot of UN. There's what like four of you. Yeah, I mean it's just like now it's getting to the point where I just like you got to pick one, Duke or Carolina, and it's always gonna oh. be Carolina. These these white boys, man. Duke Duke's just the white boy recruiting center. UNC. Yeah, they're is, always their annoying like best player. It, it, it is. It, it's what you had uh, Grayson Allen. I mean, back in the day, you had now, Leitner and J.J. Redick and John Shire, who coaches them now. John Shire looks annoying as fuck. Kyle dude. Singler. Dude, yeah. John Shire looks definitely annoying. wears makeup. Yeah. And there are so many clips and evidence of this. And I've been trying to say it and scream it to the high heavens in our group messages, and no one's giving me the light of day. But I'll, I'll vouch. Let's see. This dude. Skinny. The, this dude's fucking skinny. He's 7'5". Seven, 7'5"? Five. Seven, five? Yeah. Look yeah. how fucking skinny he is. <laughs> That guy is a problem. I think he transferred from like a big time school. I think it was like Arkansas. Um, but I don't know. Hopefully Oral Roberts can get it done here. That would be amazing. That, was, that was a confident shot. I feel, I feel good about that. 
get all those Duke fans the hell out of Orlando so I can go enjoy my March Madness in peace on Saturday. So what kind of make it just like a little face blush? What do you think he's wearing? Oh, yeah. It's nothing like serious, but his neck is like a different color than his cheeks and like forehead. It's so obvious. It's it's funny. It's that limelight. You got to you gotta look good for the camera. Sure. Whatever you say. Whatever John says. This one's slow. This is a grind right here. Yeah, Duke's pretty good at uh, defense this year, which I feel like wasn't necessarily a Coach K thing, but... Oh, did we talk about the Pitt Mississippi State game at all? I don't think we. Did. No, no, we didn't really touch what on that. Fuck, that was dude. nuts. They had like they had what a wide open three, and then technically one tip in, and then one that they kind of tipped in right after the buzzer that missed as well. That was just so that was, was a crazy ending. Was the other twin getting rotated in? Yeah, it's hard to tell. You can't tell. You're yelling at the same. You, you think can't. you're yelling at the same kid, but it's the. It, it's hard to tell if they're not in the game at the same time. Four beers later, you don't know who the fuck's in there. Oh, yeah, you're yelling at Jorge, and it's Guillermo, or vice versa. So one of them no idea. hit the early three. One of them good. started and is, like, I guess better right now, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. They they played their ass off for... Yeah, they, they made it the, the, For the circumstances, like, their first start being March Madness, that's pretty, pretty cool. So is Federico back then? Next oh, I time? hope. I mean... I hope he's back. If not, they're probably in some trouble just because Miss, Mississippi State was bad. Like they, cool. Mississippi State did not look very – oh, good. No, they, so. they wouldn't score for five or six yeah. minutes. But Iowa State's kind of that way too. They just want to, you know, defend for 30 seconds and get some turnovers here and there and hope that they can beat you. But I don't know. We'll see. It's pretty exciting that hometown's back in March Madness for the first time in a long time. What, seven years? It's at least, yeah. Yeah, since I was a freshman in college, so. Oh, public service announcement. Any Bayside report, anyone, anyone who's listening to this, you want to come to the Valspar Championship <laughs> this Saturday. You don't feel like watching basketball. You feel like walking around a golf course for six hours, followed by a Darius Rucker concert free of charge. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM, Garrett Bellich. Be happy to have you. So this Darius Rucker concert is like post- golf round yeah yeah they they like shouted you over and they're like it's free of charge. i don't want to stick around where is it i mean because it's like an hour north from here like, yeah it's far so i guess it pull it up how far is it oh for me it's like i did already it's you like 50 it? minutes <laughs> yeah so from you it's an hour and 20 i might as well go to orlando yeah right? orlando is the same Fuck, distance dude. i don't know i'm, I'm I... we're gonna figure it out we'll figure it out i might bail you know what out, sucks but I'm, I'm content if i go i'm content one of my favorite <laughs> it's not a tradition but like I do love when they announce all of the tip off times for like the round of 32, like so after tonight, the games end tonight. And like, like it's, or, or no, it'd be like no, midnight. it's like 1230. But like, it sucks when you're waiting to see like what teams won or like if you can go or not to the round of 32 to like buy tickets because you're waiting pretty much 24 hours before it starts. But so if, well, Virginia out, that's a, that's already going to, yeah, that knock the, that's going to knock the price. Down. Duke's up 11 nothing, so this is this game's over. This game's fucked. Congrats to Duke for <laughs> winning the national championship. Obama pick. What about Obama missing? <laughs> just completely skipping. He the, said, fuck it. He, he said, I don't want to pick Pitt or Xavier. I'll just let them both. Did no one catch that? No one on his team caught that yeah. shit? Yeah. I mean, oh, does he have a big team to, like, you know, handle so yeah. He's probably to handle social media. I'm sure he's pulling. He's running. I feel like he's running the Biden show. I feel like he's pulling all the strings. Well, maybe <laughs> he's he's still in. We're Obama's gonna, still making calls. We're gonna save that for Jim. I, I'm not, yeah, we'll save that. Comment on we'll say that if you want to be on that podcast, <laughs> it's up to you. That I'm might your, just be a father son show. Yeah, I'm your sport. <laughs> I'm your sports liaison. I'm not getting into politics. Santino. I don't think Santino would want to be on for that either. He probably he probably want to stay away. Yeah. But how about this fucking setup, dude? It's nice. You really, I thought we were just going to do the TV on the floor, but the, the desk is a good addition. Yeah, I mean, I just that would be tough over a coffee table. Yeah, we yeah, can't. This is we way better. Shit. No, this is this is a little basketball oasis. Yeah. I miss uh miss watching with the fellows for sure. I know. I, I'm sure they're all, you know, group betting, fucking group betting away together. Legal legal lines. Yeah. Catching that good legal betting luck. But yeah, we don't bet. We just bet against each other, Garrett and I. So God God, if you're on bet online, God's just like, ah, dude. You're gonna go in three and twenty every bet, bro. You're paying you're paying these Cayman people all this illegal money. 
Yeah, yeah what what uh where, where are they based out of? Where do you think? Caymans, right? I don't. Nah. I, I I literally don't know. Fucking <laughs> Bulgaria. <laughs> Someone's the twelve year old in Bulgaria's bedroom. <laughs> just some kid named named Igor's just running bed online, <laughs> living in a. His mom doesn't realize he has all this cash. Yeah. There's what bed online, Bavada. That's all I know. Um, There's another one, my bookie. I've never heard of that. But the crypt, the crypto is like the game changer. Yeah, that just makes it like it's why, easy. Anyone can do it. Why is that better for them? You think, know what I mean? Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, dealing with the U.S. dollar, okay, would be a easy answer. Yeah, and then yeah. there's no trail. There's no trail with the with the the Bitcoin, right? It, it's I guess I, feel like I, it's, I I literally couldn't tell you how it works. It's a woozy. So. It's a wazzy. It's yeah. a yeah. It's that. It's the. It's <laughs> What's, the that's the Wolf of Wall, Wall Street. Street. <laughs> it's fairy it's, dust. It's fairy dust. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I love that. Oh wait, here would... it is. Yeah, this is your first time. Fuck. That's Garrett's first fuck? time seeing Furman's buzzer beater. Look at him partying. That's awesome. Wow. The dude literally. So Kia Clark. Not a big fan of him. He's been around Virginia way too long. He's Is like he a on player? his sixth year. Yeah, he's okay. a point guard. Um, got like trapped in the corner and did the uh, Jacoby Myers Patriots lateral <laughs> against the Raiders and just chucked it fifty yards yeah, to nobody. Yeah, what the fuck was he threw it right to him? Yeah. It was an easy. Yeah. So he, yeah, he was trying to inbound down the down the court. Yeah, he was trying to throw it up the court with like five seconds left. And that's that's that disaster. Virginia luck, baby. Man, Duke is so good. Look at this. This is horrible. Or Roberts isn't. I'm having score. Wait, we have the over. <laughs> you have though. I don't know if I. Have oh, over. you should have. I thought you. Told I me. just have. I have. I have their spread, but they clearly can't fucking score. This. Oh, dude, seven five dude shoots threes. Seven five over everyone. Brick City. All right, it's Miller time. Oh, oh damn. Oh. Entertain the folks, turn. I'm not trying to let my ears breathe. We need the boom on. Um, yeah, you can grab one. Thank you. Don't your ears get hot in these things? No, not at all. I'm used to them. I'm built for it every week. This is my, uh, what was I going to say? Um... This is like my fifth day of degeneracy, I think. Your parents came No, out. it's been like a week. I should probably put these back. It's been a solid week of degeneracy. Do you like, you don't have to wear them. I know. They're kind of like... pointless. <laughs> they really are kind of pointless. Hold on a second. Now I'll do it. I mean, I guess it I... doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. No, I, you can hear yourself better. I just, as, as producer, I like to know, hopefully this sounds okay. <laughs> If you can hear me fine, then I think we're good. You you sound fine. I sound shitty to myself. No. Does it sound? It yeah, sound, you're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, you iced me out on our. Uh, Dude. What was that in West Palm? It was our um, the fantasy our, football. Our so fantasy you, football. you motherfuckers had the baseball draft. You had the fantasy baseball. And no, you didn't no, tell anyone. No, you got trolled. I got trolled. You oh, got trolled. Damn. So did Zoop and a couple other people. Zoop was pissed. <laughs> he was pissed. He was like, what the fuck? Oh, man. I was just sitting there having one of these bad boys just <laughs> trying to stir the pot a little bit. Wait, so back to your degeneracy. You basically went home, had St. Paddy's, or went to Pittsburgh, had St. Paddy's Day. Saturday. Yeah. Sun- Sunday, I was a good boy. I slept all day. Right, yeah. You And then you just, what, went to Monday, your I was kind of a bad... I, and then your parents were here, so you started drinking again. Yeah, and you know them. They like to, they like to get down. Get after it. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't get to see them. I know, dude. I wish they just would fucking move here already. That would just solve all our... And I think they're yeah. starting to... My, like, my mom texted me when they landed. She's like, I wish we were still there. I'm like... Your mom's making a big push. She was She was the one that's just like, no, nah, I'm not leaving. I love Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh till I die. Beaver County till I die. Get it tattooed on my back. I don't give a fuck. I want to stay. Now I think they're starting to... I think they're starting to open their mind up a little bit. Yeah. And the, they love Ali. They used to hate Ali. Oh, really? My mom... My they mom, weren't a fan of the cat. My mom was not a fan of the cat. My mom loves the cat now. My dad always like, my dad loves what I, you know, you could yeah. give my dad a raccoon and he'll pet it. 
but true beaver county in <laughs> true true a deer you can put a deer in the living room he doesn't give a fuck he'll take care of it but the cat the cat's really starting to he's also starting to come around and be less of an annoying piece of well, shit well he's not young anymore right like he's yeah. a, he's a but they overfat they, they don't get fat dude they my parents have never had pets so they don't understand I was sitting there. I got home from work. They're like, "Yeah, we we filled his bowl and he ate it all, and we just filled it up again." Yeah, it's and like I'm like, no, I'm like, no. They don't know self control. No, I'm like, you're fucking that cat up. Yeah, that cat, that cat's gonna be spoiled now. And right. I think it's that cat probably ate five meals a day with my mom. Oh my god. And you know, my, my mom had when I walked in, it was four pots on the stove. Yeah, something's in the oven. <laughs> something's something's. It all smells tremendous. Right. It's, yeah. It's great. She's having, cooking a big family meal. She's a fucking legend, dude. She's a legend when it comes to that nonstop. I need, I need to, especially when I'm home, I need to rub off some of her recipes. Yeah. You got stuff in the freezer now, I'm sure. I'm just a, I'm just a crock pot and air fryer scumbag. Oh, big three. Dude, they can't. Can Oral Roberts fucking score? (laughs) This is getting old. Oh my gosh. The thing is, they're not like, they're not, there's so much game left. Like, and they're getting open looks. Knock a couple down. Come on, number two. Oh, for 11. Holy shit. This looks like Chevy Troutman. Back to the pit days. Nope. Oh, he's... <laughs> Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? They're so bad. All right. I'm going to take my eyes off of that for now because that's just... All right, to the left screen. We got... <laughs> this game's pretty tight. We're just we're just early on in the action. For, totally forgot all my bets. Yeah. <laughs> totally it, forgot all my it bets. It happens. There's like six of them. This is March. This is March. This is March. This is Valspar. Yeah, that that'll be fun though. Like, pull up the leader. I, oh yeah, that's I don't even know who's. I know. I know. Spieth, my guy Spieth. I, I am sad he's in Tampa, and I'm not going to see him. Our God, our it's, Savior, yeah, Jordan Spieth. We're gonna uh, have a shrine of him one day. He's tied. For, he's in second, but it's like you know how that works like in golf, like tied for fourth because there's three guys in first. Have you been to a golf? You've been to the U.S. Open, right? Yeah, I went to the U.S. Open at Oakmont, and um, I've been to like a WGC event when they were at Firestone in Akron. Um, oh, okay. They but do. they don't play there anymore. The Bridgestone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mainly like PGA players, right? In the world. dude, it was the best. The best. Yeah, the best like, from all Tiger and I saw Tiger and Rory like in a yeah. grouping together or something like that. I saw them both. That I remember it as a kid. But and you just walk. You're just walking. Yeah, I mean like. For the U.S. Open, I had like hospitality access to so a could tent too. So stay like, in a hole if you want, or is that like um, a- it? It was more not. It was like in a fairway or something. There wasn't much there. Um, I was also underage, so but it was like a Tito's. It was like a oh, Tito's um, hospitality thing, which was awesome. Like I would love to do that now. So is that like an upgraded? And they're they're everywhere around the course. So you could just hop around. They're all over the place. I mean, some of them are even off the course. Oh, and you just buy like you get like a ticket and you know they have food air conditioning because it's you know it's the middle of the summer so it's hot like oh and you get in this yeah, you, you get in some in in the shade and you get some good food and and booze and it's like i would want to do that for the formula one event that's you're a big insane. formula one guy too i'm the, i'm not <laughs> like a formula one guy at all dude and i I, I don't mind racing because like i grew up going to races with my dad worked in the uh racing industry for like 20 years and um we would go to like the dirt track races with my grandpa all the time so like i have a a, not an affinity for it but like a respect and it like makes you feel like you know you're in your childhood again but um i went there and i don't know like fast moving loud objects are just cool like yeah just you know it's and it's a big event like saint pete shuts down for it like oh you're the grand prix you mean I'm talking about the, the, yeah, the one that was just here. Yeah, like, the one that was just here. Yeah. So back to the hospitality things. Like, there's like Audi, like. Oh, they have sponsors and shit. Dude, there's like Audi, like hospitality tents. There's like, you know, like women in like blouses and men in suits. And they try to fancy it up. But like inside, it's probably just good food and, and air conditioning. Should I dress up? Should I wear at least like a, no. should I wear like a quarter or a polo? Like Dude, a, I have shirt? no idea. I was in shorts and a t-shirt. Okay. I, it's not like I was in the, in there, but the Valspar. That's probably more of like the white trash golf. You could definitely get away with shorts. It's and a more t-shirt. of the. It's Florida. Yeah, it's Florida. It's the Florida. Maybe you don't let the dogs bark. You're not gonna be. Oh, wanna, you're not gonna want to walk in like sandals all day. Sandals. Fuck. Yeah, you're not gonna want that. But 
Um, it might rain too. That's the other. Wrench. Oh, are you serious? That's the other. Wrench. Dude, why are you not coming with us? <laughs> Is it really supposed to rain? Yeah, it's like sixty-eight percent chance. Look at the weather. <laughs> When he said, when he said, he's like, "Hey, I have two tickets." He probably bailed because it's gonna storm or something. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's going. He sent me two. He didn't even hesitate. He sent me two tickets, but uh, no, I think he's there. He's, he's oh no, you might be good. Yeah, it's it's March. It, it's gonna be a passing shower. You have a couple days, but it does say scattered thunderstorms later in the day. So it'd be when you want to go. Son of a bitch. Because that's the thing. Like, I mean, even some of these guys have never even heard. Uh, no, I've actually heard of them, but. Like, if Spieth is in one of the last few groups on Saturday, you're going to want to be there for then. And they're not oh, going to tee, yeah. they're not going to tee off until almost 2 o'clock. So it's, like, first come, first serve to, like, the rope, like, the front of the rope. Yeah, there's not, like, a seat. You just you just walk up. And it's awesome. Like, I mean, there's going to be, because Spieth in the, is there and, like, I don't know, how's JT doing? JT's only a couple back, too. So, like, the guys like that, they're going to attract all. Everybody. So, like... Lucas Glover, who's tied with Spieth right now, like if you catch someone like him in a group with like a nobody, you'll be able to like shake his hand if you want. Like oh. you, you'll be right next to him. Didn't that's the one his wife beat him up, right? Lucas Glover. Yeah. Then his, <laughs> look that up next. I think his wife. I think his wife put the hurt on him for not winning any tournaments. Oh, you got Tommy Fleetwood, Sam yeah. Burns, two time champ. I mean, there's some guys, but a few. Yeah. So as long as they make the cut, you'll have a good time. But Lucas Glover wife. Yeah. Look that up. But other than that, there's like no way. Wait, wait, this actually comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got arrested. She <laughs> read about it. Crystal was arrested and charged. I shouldn't be laughing with domestic violence and resisting arrest in Ponte Vedra, Florida, during. Oh wow, during the 2018 Players Championship. Yeah, it was a while ago. She was charged with domestic battery. It's a bad and thing resisting a, an officer. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's pretty wild. She, yeah, he wasn't winning any cash, but <laughs> so they reconciled. Started... They figured it out. Oh, good. That's pretty. That's a pretty good story that's, right there. Yeah, that's a true love story, isn't it? Commercial break. Paxlovid. What the fuck's Paxlovid? If you're having, uh, oh, what's the saying? It's like something about COVID. Um, it's like the. It's like the ivermectin. It's like a good version, like a non-horse version of ivermectin. But it's only for like at-risk individuals who have ah, COVID, like you. long COVID or whatever. Long COVID. Yeah, yeah. I, that's still a thing, I guess. That's still a thing, dude. Yeah. Up north, no, my yeah, no people here. Someone in my company had COVID this week. Really? So I might, I don't know, dude. Do you still like have to like you know miss work for it? No, they don't give you. What was it like five days? Yeah, they changed it to five days. Okay. It did. I like the fact that I missed Ben Roethlisberger's final game. Jesus Christ, dude! Duke's just. Pouring it on. Yeah, this isn't fun. The fact I missed Ben, and it, it really was horrible. Like, it, it hit me. It hit me bad. You had it, like, right around yeah. the same time. I had it during Pitt's Peach Bowl game. Yeah. I and I, that's when I was still in the South Side, and the fellas are at a bar a block away. <laughs> and I'm just, like, in my bedroom, like, crying because Davis Bevel throws an interception right in the chest of a linebacker. Um, what that could have been. Yeah, dude, COVID's not fun. Good I, cut. In one. Good cut, Oral Roberts. I actually did research on Oral Robert. It's like some religious guy named Oral Robert. Yeah, Roberts, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a guy, right? Like a real guy. He's a real dude. Yeah. Um, He's a real deal. They're in like the mid Oklahoma Texas? South. Oklahoma. Yeah. It's Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah. I always want. I was like, who the fuck is Oral? Who names their kid Oral? <laughs> well, wasn't he born in like the 1600s? Yeah. If you named your kid Oral nowadays, <laughs> that kid's. Fun. So I, this is what I was pulling up. I had a friend text me. Do you think Moorhead State has ever played against Oral Roberts? <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, Moorhead State's what like Missouri Valley? Is that what it is? MVC. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. nice having your having a fucking. You're like Jamie from Rogan right now. I, yeah, I enjoy this. You I just can, I like being a research guy. You could be the research guy. We'll, we'll work on the production stuff once we get in the new studio. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, that'll be. Dude, we'll, we'll the be tables, like, we'll have the boom mics, we'll have the fucking we'll TV. We have like poolside podcast. Poolside, hot tub, hot tub. <laughs> oh side. yeah, you have a hot tub. We'll have a fucking oh, hot that tub. is so nice. Hopefully, I, I get scared about the hot tubs in the apartment complexes. I hope it's just not a ghetto. You know, I hope it's a nice hot tub because I feel like people really abuse the apartment hot tub compared to a hotel. Yeah, hot tub. I mean, so I mean. 
both of our pools right now are nice. Like they get cleaned. Like yours is great. Do they not do the same to the hot tubs? I would hope. I mean, people get ratchet though. Hopefully, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I think, I think I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm no. I'm saying don't go there. I'm, it, <laughs> you never know. You never know what the fuck you're gonna run into. Now, right? We're not at a Dominican spring break oh, God. resort with jacuzzis. That's it, right. I'll get my dose of that in April. Dude, you know what I? You know what I was thinking about? I feel like. I mean, I've noticed like some traffic on weekends, and maybe it's just like me like knowing to avoid me acting like i've been here forever you're a season <laughs> I, i've knowing, been here for a year <laughs> knowing to oh, knowing you've to been well, here a week loser what the fuck yeah compared to the people that we ran into when we first moved here they thought we were like they scum thought we of were the losers, yeah dude. but i see it now because we we're all like oh, you've been here a week you right fucking idiot. yeah no i'm too private, private. uh what was i saying oh but i feel like spring break wasn't like out of control or anything like, this year yeah like there was nothing uh, I didn't. I don't know if the red tide scared people away. Well, yeah. I mean, I was at the beach last weekend. But it wasn't. It's not bad, is it? I was at the beach last weekend, and I, um, I grabbed like coffee and stuff like in the town of St. Pete Beach, which I figured would be nuts. And it wasn't. I, no, I mean, I, there were like a couple like bachelorette parties, like grabbing coffee and like walking the sidewalk. Like I don't know. That's Florida. Like you see, that yeah, all the time. it's everywhere. So it, I, that's always a busy. That's the busiest beach. Would you yeah, say? Yeah, and that's like I thought it was gonna be nuts, but it wasn't. It's just the so. standard. Treasure Island's busy as fuck. Treasure. Well, Island, lately it's been nuts. That's my favorite beach now, for like, sure. I love the town, and like you know, you kind of like get like a more homey feel. Like there's houses, yeah, it's along the beach, and you can walk to the Publix, and that's true too. As long as you don't park illegally in the Waffle House parking lot, your car won't get towed. But I get so I th- paranoid for your car when we after after that. Plus, like the I'll be smarter. You got the first time. <laughs> I'll be smarter about it. I I was just like, dude, there was nowhere to park. Like that we couldn't. We had no. Options. There was nowhere to park, no so I ended up paying a hundred sixty dollar ticket. But it is. I mean, it's not like. We just have to go earlier. It, yeah, we do. we got a late start to the day. Why? Why did we start so late that day? I don't even know why. I think we were just. Um, I think we were recovering from the night before. Who was all with? We had a few. We had a. We had like four yeah, stops today. Yeah, to yeah, that's true. But we fucked up at that. Ass- we also drank the night before. Yeah, that was the St. Pete night. We drank the night before. And the acai bowl. Sorry, I, <laughs> I butchered that pronunciation. Yeah, acai. 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 I bowl. mean, it was good, but I- that place was packed. I mean, it wasn't our fault. We ran into a family of 12, 12. <laughs> literally 12, right before we walked in. But, I mean, what are you going to do? It. Everyone gets their car totally That smashed. Publix was fucking cr- Yeah, and That guys, too, yeah. The Publix was packed. That Publix was horrible. Yeah. They, the, the new ones opened down the road. Santino and I talked about last episode. There's, like, people walking around drinking beer and shit. Down the road from you, yeah. yeah and Dude, had, I saw it, like, it's on, like, the internet. Like, it's, like, yeah. the newest, nicest Publix in Florida. I was oh, like, that's really? Garrett's. <laughs> Where'd you see that at? On Instagram? Um, I forget, I, honestly. So they had, I mean, dude, there's chicks taking, like, say that, say this is a camera, like, taking a picture of their beer. Well, they're, like, just fucking grocery just, shop. Yeah. And then you the, can still drink your, you can still enjoy your beer, but. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is, like, a novelty, like, thing now, like. Yeah. That's a new trend. Getting, getting, drinking. Well, here's even the kicker: the carts have a cup holder. Cup holder. Have you ever been to um, Wegmans? Weg- ever? Mm-mm. Okay. Weg- Wegmans. Yeah. What, where's that? Uh, up north. It's a. It's actually headquartered in Rochester, but they had it in Lancaster. That's pretty badass. Just saying. The what? The crab walk on the Bronco. Oh wow. <laughs> LeBron. <James>. LeBron. <laughs> Anyways, we- Wegmans. Yeah. Um, they ha- is similar, like you know, the hot food section, and the, they have craft beer and blah blah blah. Oh, they, they have, have like the bar. And they everything. have like a cafe, like a legitimate like restaurant cafe area where like you order like hamburgers and like sit and eat. That trends the like the grocery store slash whatever you want to call it, ca- like hot re- foods cafe restaurant type. buffet. Yeah, right. That that I feel like that's a newer. Oh, we got three games idea. going now. Oh shit! It is it is a newer idea. Um, Northwestern and Boise just tipped. I feel like, uh, I feel like the Starbucks getting placed like inside of Targets and like you know the market districts. That's and like stuff the kind of like started a trend of yeah partnership. 
time. Yeah, it's just like, but why do you need to drink a, you know, 8% IPA while you're getting groceries? Like, <laughs> when I go, I hate, I hate it. I hate grocery shopping. Yeah, me too. I would do the Instacart. Well, I don't, I don't go to Publix nah. to grocery shop really that often because it's, it's too much. It yeah. really is too much. Where do you go? Trader Joe's? I feel Tr- like that's even worse. Trader Joe's. No, you just got to know when to go. Like, I know when to go now. Like, there's, if you're not a lazy, like, if you're even somewhat of a morning person, oh my god, that dude just got flipped over. Watch this. Oh my god, this oh is my crazy. T bag. Watch. Jesus. Watch. <laughs> he did a full flip in there. Anyways, yeah, if you just like know when to go to Trader Joe's in the morning, it's not bad. And if you go like any weeknight, it's really not that bad either. So. So you've one. You've the one in St. Pete down here. Yeah. Not, I feel like that. I went to that one before. That but, one's good. That's I will, a good Trader Joe's. I will give you this. Like, if you ever went to the one in Pittsburgh, especially during COVID, it was crazy. I have. I've been at that one. Horrible. Yeah, Horrible. it's not. I mean, I, I like it because it's like you know the first Trader Joe's that I ever shopped at, and like it's home. But yeah, um, you, you're it's your you, it's, it's yeah, your like experience. you like you know you know the walls like the back of your hand. But it 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 would get a little you know problematic with crowds i think I, I did the instacart during covid and i went there and i was like never again never again never again. well you had like wait in line and it was like freezing cold outside that was that was i don't know why i did that hustle that was i could have just collected the fucking loan that the government was handing out but yeah I, i'm gonna go work <laughs> i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna go make cash I, that's you know that's saying something about yourself because a lot of yeah. people don't want to do that so yeah you know i could you gotta I give yourself some credit there i could have just took the government handout but i went and i went yeah. and hustled those groceries to to old people in right. fucking pittsburgh that was that was a de- it was just like tiring dude going around and trying to shop for groceries and you're on your phone and then there's 10 other people doing the same thing there's people running around gas yeah. masks i'm not gonna lie the instacart people do kind of suck oh, when, they're, they're, when they're in I your fucking way hate the, yeah. now now i'm like you motherfucker <laughs> get out get out of the store yeah and that, i was that guy you know all right we hey, got the three screens just, just people trying to make an extra dollar it was good it, it's like doordash how doordash was lucrative at first now it's kind of saturated that's yeah. how oh instacart my God. was great at first then it got saturated do you talk at all about the uber driver we had vaguely, vaguely. oh my god what the haitian one the one that we got in a little spat with oh yeah yeah that one i mean it wasn't we we didn't you explain it it was me <laughs> it was me that got in the... were you drunk i can't remember because i feel like that yeah i was okay that i feel like that the adds to the st- it was after the power game. It wasn't, you know. You were fine. I was fine. Um, Somewhat. I, yeah, I guess. Whatever. You were fine. Um, <laughs> but not fine enough to talk. This I dude, like, talk fine. This dude, like, pulls up and... <laughs> I, what? He was probably, like, a 10-minute drive. No, we couldn't get an Uber. At all. We couldn't get an Uber. We well, for, an we Uber. had one, and I was like, oh, guys, I got it. No worry. And we needed an XL, and I got an X. So that was, like, a whole thing. We had to wait longer than we thought. Um so anyways, yeah, we got one like not that big of an issue. And he pulls up. He's like, you guys are lucky. Well, well that pissed me off. That, that really which, set me off. To yeah. Start. It confused me more than like made me angry. I was just like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to get in your car. Like, don't take me somewhere you shouldn't be taking me. Uh, yeah. I thought we were going to the fucking bay and get thrown in. Yeah. So what you did, you sit in the middle seat and just start chatting away with them. And I was just trying to make small talk to make this. Yeah. To like make it. Less. I was like, Hey, buddy. make it. It was so awkward. Like everyone, when he said that, like kind of looked at each other. Like, what do you mean? Like, we called the Uber. You could have declined. Could have declined it easily. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett, <laughs> I spent thirty five dollars on the fucking Uber, brother. Like, yeah, right. I hope you at least would like to pick me. Up. Yeah, say welcome to my nice ride. It was a nice car, but it, what? Like you were, you were try- he Garrett was trying to ask him like how long he had been driving for uber i said what was the phrase and it I was said? just not english it was like how long you you Who, hear drive like yeah. how long you hear drive or something like that and he's like check the app yeah he was like check the app it'll tell you how many how many rides i've had and we're just like okay dude and then we didn't say a word the rest of the ride i was like i'm not tipping him and that's just like you tip your uber <laughs> yeah no, that was funny we, I was like, yeah, we were like wait we tip we tip uber drivers I here actually give him a few bucks <laughs> as long as they're like the lady who picked us up and asked if we want a mcdonald's 
I wish I remembered. Like she, she's a godsend. If you get Uber drivers like that, yes, give them a couple of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done tipping Ubers for good. I always, I've had good Ubers. I've always had good Ubers here. I mean, there's been the ones that you get stuck in a few that don't know any English. Yeah. And they're not even bad. You know, you could give them a few words in Spanish just to get the point across. But he, I don't know, dude. Haitians don't fuck with me. Clearly, I guess he, he was pissed. <laughs> Yeah. He was pissed. Yeah, that was so weird. I, I, th- there was nothing going on that night. Like, I don't know why all the Ubers were. You're you're, you're in a hopping area. Yeah, know? that that was weird. Like, normally we have no problem getting Ubers. No problem. It was, it was bad, but... Oh, and then Dead Bobs, dude. What a... Do you like Dead Bobs? I like... Yes. I love... The cheap... I didn't realize how cheap it was. I you get $3 beers. I didn't know the $3 beer was still an existing which, thing. Which, I mean, yeah. Beer. Most places you go out in St. Peter, Tampa, you're paying at least 5 which still isn't, like, terrible. It's still... But, that's the standard. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it's fine. But Dead Bobs, yeah. I mean, you're paying three twenty five for Michelob Ultra, Miller Lite, White Claw. And, and the, envir- the environment gets a little popping, too. It's not... It's a nice little... You would never... It was busy. very unassuming yeah, for, for the neighborhood. It was busy, but, I mean... We still had a place to like sit down, I which was torched. That's like the best part. I was torched. Yeah, you got you two were like yapping off about I don't I don't even know what stories you were telling. Soup and I were going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? All right, Oral Roberts. Okay, this game is coming alive a little bit. We have four minutes left in the first half. Down 14. For anyone who needs reference to what we're talking about, but everyone will listen tomorrow. And they'll they'll yeah, know where they're like you morons. I'm trying to jinx Duke as much as I can. So, again, dominant team just can't miss right now. They look, Oral Roberts looks They like look a scared. More they look scared. Shoot the ball. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> open lay. Oh, he Fucking blew miss. a wide open layup miss twice. Again. Twice. Punch him. Punch him. Just punch him in the face. Okay. Is Filipowski a freshman? Yeah, he's really good. He's that dude. <laughs> sure and they got that so what, what's their tempo are they, are they a slower tempo? they're slower than normal like they uh both games against unc the unc only scored 57 points and duke scored like 63 and 62 so it's like they're kind of can they please show john shire i want to see the makeup yeah we haven't really been there, okay okay eh, uh, yeah no he looks he looks okay he looks okay there you can normally tell with like his forehead though. Like, it, it's it's a little suspect. I'm like, what? What is on? Little. What's on your face? Like, there's something there. He's hiding something. His forehead looks looked a little powdered. So yeah, Jay Wright. Jay Wright's in the booth now. He's retired. He's great. I love Jay Wright. Who's the guy on the far left? Uh, it was probably uh, Gumble. No, was it Greg Gumble? I don't. It could have been. You know who that is? Yeah, yeah, Greg and. It, his brother does it too, right? Bryant. Bryant. Yeah. Bryant Bumble. Na- my namesake. The same name. Yeah. You were named after Kobe, right? <laughs> no. I thought you my were. My dad just changed the I to a Y and added a T. I thought it was for Kobe. Maybe you were just trolling my ass when you That'd said be, that. I probably have told you that. I do like to joke in a serious way that it, I'm named after him, but no, not at all. There's Kareem. A nice little Wendy's burger. Oh, that looks fucking good. Best, not that I eat fast food. Yeah, you do. You just fucking ate Chick Fil A. No, Chick Fil A. I was gonna say Chick Fil A doesn't count. Not that I eat How? fast food that often. That's fast food. No, like you know, it is. It is. It is. It's it alternative. Is. It is. Yeah, but, but like not Five Guys. Like, oh, dude, Five Guys. Like is a best waste burger of- with Wendy's, McDonald's, and Burger King. It's Wendy's. It's Wendy's by a long shot. Yeah, pretty easily. Five Five Guys is just. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not paying twenty dollars. Dude, for, I haven't had that since for Oakland. a meal. And I haven't had that since South Oakland. I remember going there in Oakland. I'm like, why the fuck am I paying? This? Yeah, as a college kid, you're like, what? And why? They, <laughs> why is there a Five Guys in a college? It shouldn't be there. Yeah, I mean, it's fat. It's fast food. Northwestern off to a hot start. Really? Seventeen to eight. What's Ew, uh what T- the TCU? Hell? They they play tomorrow. Yeah. Jamie Dixon. Good old yeah, pick guy. Good old Jamie. He's in some controversy. A player. Why? Player left the team and kind of cited some like racial. Um... Jamie, you motherfucker. Well, okay, hold on. We don't know who's <laughs> don't... who's telling the right story because he left and then like came out and said a bunch of stuff. But like none of the other players like backed him up in this, so it's kind of weird. Um, Maybe he's just. He was saying like Jamie abused him, which if he did, like Jamie needs fired. I don't think he'd do that. But I, 
I never got that vibe. Like the pit teams love Jamie Dixon. Like he was players, a legend. Dude. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he would never. Like he would yell. He was a yeller. He he yells. Every He's animated. Like, but every coach. coach is. Yeah. But I couldn't see him like slapping a dude. No. Yeah. That's like. I I mean I guess it could have been verbal abuse too. But like when he said abuse, I f- figured it was like physical. But uh, verbal abuse. Is I could the be standard. wrong. Verbal abuse is America. That's, <laughs> that's America yeah. right there. That's coaching. That's coaching. Yeah, that's to an extent. I mean, obviously, if he was being racist, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Distorted. You can't cross the line. Yeah, no, you he... can't cross the line, Jamie. Yeah, but so yeah. Apparently, there's like a little turmoil, but I don't think it's like within the team that's there now. I think it was this this dude who left, but they got him out. Yeah, the, the focus has been refreshed. Always root for Jamie. They almost beat Arizona last year. That would have been awesome. That would have been so cool to. Uh, I think it was to go to the Elite Eight. So. I was I heartbroken know. when he left Pitt. That was, that was horrible. Oh, you remember Kevin Stallings? Pitt fans <laughs> ran him out of town, dude. Kevin yeah. Stallings was a bum. Yeah, I remember Pitt. It, we did start to turn on Jamie a little bit. It was just... It was like the same old thing, you know... Get to the Sweet 16 or, and lose. Yeah, I mean, they'd lose 42-41 to 41 to Wisconsin in, in the uh, round of 64. And it's like, okay, now what do we do? He, he lost his recruiting pipeline once the they ACC. went to the... Yeah, you're going to need to charge. I know. Here, a quick battery. Quick word from our sponsor. <laughs> We're over here. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> you have a plug over here? Yeah, it's... Can you see it? It's where the lamp is. I'm good. Thank you, though. One more. One more for the... One more as we close out the show. What do you got? What are you cooking this week? Yeah, I haven't talked this much in days. I'm going to make some fajitas. Um, I figured it was just easier for you to pick up food today. Uh, what else did I make this week? I, like, oh, I wasn't taco, cooking this week. Taco salads and stuff. You're, you're kind of a good chef. Uh... Yeah, let me talk into the mic again. You're kind of chef. Yeah, um, I, I do like the chef. I think I like... <laughs> this is weird. It's not weird, but like I think I like being creative because I get bored of eating the same food every time I I like sit down for dinner, especially like during the week. Like March Something m- new every night? You no, can, no, 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 you no. You do no. a leftover. No, night, no, right? no, no. Oh, yeah. Like when I grill something, I'll grill it for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Day. at least. Yeah. Uh, it's just... Especially during March Madness, I'm gonna eat like shit probably because just like I I, I don't want I don't want to take an hour away from my day. That's so sad, but I want to take an hour away from my day to cook food when I can be watching basketball. Although during these games right now, I probably could have cooked dinner because I get pissed off at watching Duke and um. This but game yeah, is over from the start. Yeah, I I like getting not like crazy creative. I'm not some chef coming up with the recipes or anything, but. You know, Google some stuff or just come up with it in your head. And when you can just walk outside and grill, I don't know about your apartment, but like, I oh just, yeah, I just walk outside and grill all the time. So no, I need to take it. I'll, I'll take advantage of it in my new place. Yeah, grilling's easy too. I mean, it's not hard. Throw it on that sucker and let it cook for fifteen minutes, and you're done. Here is less the, than fifteen minutes. Here is the team I picked: the blowout. <laughs> Who'd you? Oh, dude. So, funny Corpus Christi story. I it's not funny, but did you just spill beer? No, it's fine. I don't know. There it is. I'll get it. Did you spill just it? A, no, it's good. It's empty. Um. So last year, this Corpus Christi team, you know, like Feast Week, like the Thanksgiving tournaments and stuff. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, t- the tip off tournament. Yeah. I. So. Didn't watch a second of the games, obviously, because it's some random, like, 5,000-person school in Texas. But they they had this, like, tournament where they play. I swear they played the same team, like, three times. It was, like, 
UT Rio Grande Valley oh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. I was in the weeds. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, this school is awesome. Like te- Corpus Christi, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I was like, this school is awesome. They have the longest name ever. Like their school's on an island that yeah, like they yeah, own. They're, island- they're the Islanders. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, they're the Pull Islanders. Up. Pull up the picture of it. Yeah. So let's see. We need like one of those screens where we can. I like, know. Yeah, that'd be cool. We're gonna get. Um, we're gonna set you up. With, you're gonna have my desktop, and you're gonna just Google shit. Okay, that's yeah, gonna that's be your perfect. job. You're nice. just gonna. You'll. You'll truly be like Jamie. You're just gonna. Do I have a? Google. Do I have a mic? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I'm obviously I have one right now. Yeah, you'll have a, you'll have a boom on. <laughs> uh, I'll take care of you. Don't worry, dude. That's- oh my god, this is the first time I've ever Googled this thing. Look at this. That's the campus. That's the campus. <laughs> it, they. It's on an island. That's that like they own on the beach. Well, I don't know. Kind of. It looks like it's the beach. water. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. That would be. That has to be one of the most enjoyable. Look at that. That's fucking cool. That's a whole private private island. It's private to the university. To right? the university. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like I a, mean, it's a small, small, small school. Yeah, it's tiny. That's like a military base. <laughs> Almost. Well, I mean, A and M, and yeah, A and M's a military school. Yeah, so I mean, makes that kind of makes sense. I want, I want to look up their enrollment real quick, then I'll tell the story. So uh, probably have my God, ten k. That's pretty good. That's actually big. That's that campus big. looks small. That doesn't. Or undergrads eight k. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I was in the weeds, and they played this Rio Grande Valley team like three times. Plus, they're in their conference, or it was. I'm not getting the story exactly right, but like, I don't know. They just opened a can of whoop ass on this team. And I was like, I bet on them a couple of times. And I'm like, this is awesome. Like they're my team. And then they made the first four last first year four. too. Oh really? Yeah. But they lost to Texas Southern last year. And like Texas Southern's oh. like a perennial first four team. Yeah. Like they're always in it. And they were in it this year too, but lost. But so anyways, I like fell in love with them. And this year I was like, okay, feast week. I'm going to bet on them a couple of times and, you know, just see where it takes me with, with this squad again. Cause it was like all the same kids that played last year. Um, that's a deep three. Fuck. Yeah. It's over though. Yeah. It's still it's down over. 17 points. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats to Duke for the third time. They're Duke's about to score again. Go into the final four. <laughs> against here UCLA. First. Maybe. Sure. First. UCLA. Oh, uh, Makeup. 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 Yeah. His makeup. Fore- his forehead. Makeup. His forehead had a little. It's makeup. so much more tan than the rest yeah. of his body. Yeah, I say, I see it. He look. He looks like a fucking dude that would wear makeup. Yeah. Too. Fuck him. Fuck John Shire. Um, might have to go. You can down the, that. No, nah, we'll leave it in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> might have to go down the Macy's uh, makeup department and see what I yeah, can find. Yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't look. He looks good. I, I give him credit. I, I might have to get on that. Ma- you know, just for the dark spots under the eyes. Just yeah. get a little of that makeup. We're, we're young. We have we have time. We got time. We have time. Anyways, that Corpus Christi team was my squad, and I followed them throughout the year and saw that they won their conference, but on them in their conference championship game, they so they, crushed they the won conference. the first. Yeah, no, I mean it wasn't like a it wasn't competitive. competitive. Like, like there were some good games. Um, not like they went undefeated or anything. And then yeah. first four hammered them and. They moved they cry, on. Yeah, they, they moved on, and then apparently you picked them as a 16 seed, <laughs> the upset, the best, the best team in the country right now. So, I I think I picked Colgate too. I have a good feeling about this Colgate. Nice. No, Nelly so, Cummings still in the still in the tournament. Too. Yeah, he was. That's where he did go. I forgot he was a Colgate. They're they're like a Philly team, right? PA, New York, New York, New York. Colgate? Are they? Are they? Uh, New York. What's the Ivy League? No, Patriot League. Oh, okay. And I almost typed I typed in Cole Tart. <laughs> Colgate. Uh maybe I'm wrong. The Hamilton, New York. It looks pretty. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Middle of BME. It's a Baptist or was founded by the Baptist Society. Um long, long What's time ago. What's the deal with do you know anything about the Baptist? There's a church down. You know the Baptist. I brought yeah, yeah. this up. My grandfather was a preacher at a Baptist church for a while. Is it? They just kind of scare you. They just try and scare you into being a good person. Is that their whole? Is that the mantra of the Baptist mm, church? No, I think they're just Christians. They don't. Do they do the sing? That's no. That's evangelist. Does all the singing, right? I mean, it depends, like, like where you're at, but. I, there's desperate. There's definitely like gospel songs and stuff. Like oh, hymnal, dude, I, hymnals that. The, that um, most churches sing. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, like it's kind of like a party, the church that's a party. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about, right? Yeah. The, I, there are like Southern Baptists that yeah. that get like that. And that's I think what that's what you're thinking of. That's yeah. what I would do. Or you you'd, you'd or you'd fit, you'd What about the greatly. Scientologists right down the road? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're going to you're going to experience some people, dude. I'm going to be living it. They're gonna be everywhere. They're gonna be. You're gonna be riding your. You're gonna be riding your bike. They're just gonna be trying to hand out stuff to you. So they just try and pretty much take your cash. It's just a cash grab. I, I mean, in my eyes, it is. I don't. I don't really know much about Scientology other than that it's fictional. I might try and go undercover and just be like, no, I, I don't have any money. I'm really passionate about Xenu and you know. See what happened. Yeah. Xenon. Xenon. I have to right. do some research. Yeah, you. Gotta... No, I don't... is it Xenon or am I? Sorry, wrong? I'm broke. <laughs> I'm just really, I'm really appreciative. They, they'll Xenon. turn you down. It, it's all the rich folk. Well, yeah. If you're broke, they'll be like, yeah, sorry. I'm, you're going to have to come up with a story about like how you have a yacht dude. and you can like bring them to it. I went to uh, Columbia. I was in the frat at Columbia. Why this. are you obsessed with Columbia? I, that's the first time I brought it up. But anyways. That's just not true. You said you were moving there. No, no, no. Like Columbia University. Oh. <laughs> oh my Is God. Is that Ivy League? Yeah. Yeah, that was... that's Ivy League. I'm like, yeah, I went to Columbia. I went, yeah, Pit? no, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I've been talking a lot. Of Columbia. Yeah, yeah. Medellin. My fault. My fault. Oh, wow. So we're, I went to Columbia. I'm moving to Columbia. Yeah. Columbia. Columbia. Uh, Columbia University is where we practiced for the Pinstripe Bowl. Oh, okay. So they're New York, they're New York City. They're, they're yeah, New York. you take a little bus ride and you're there. I think it's, is it Brooklyn? No. I feel like it might be. But I really need to be behind a desk. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to set you up with the desk. I, I think it's... Uh, Coming in a month. I think it's... Uh, we need to get you a little... We'll have the computer set up. You'll be like Dexter from that fucking cartoon. Who the hell's that? That cartoon. Was that the cartoon on Cartoon Network? The nerdy dude? Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah you'll yeah, be, yeah, you'll yeah, be like yeah, him, yeah. but you're going to be behind a computer behind a computer desk and yeah. you're just gonna well the TV well literally have that TV right there you're gonna pull up YouTube videos that'll be awesome you're gonna pull up Reddit Gam- posts, gambling gambling <laughs> bet online I don't care you can pull up anything yeah. whatever 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 path we end up down I need to get a new mixer too we're gonna get a four microphone mixer for other participants what are these two other inserts there though oh yeah 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 that does look like we got we got some options there's not two more microphones. I'll have to I'll have to DIY YouTube video it and see see what we could do with that. You're a quick learner. We just need to yeah. I'll, I'll get a few more microphones, dude. I'm so pumped. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be gonna good. Be fucking nice. I just dude. It's just, this was dude, a good time. Yeah, this is it. We're just bullshitting, drinking a few Miller Lights. Oh yeah, watching, watching some, some fucking hoops. hoops. Colgate There's, up one. I Colgate's a dark. That, that's my other upset. Oh, here we I go. I think I. Turk, I, so I would check my phone, the, but it's, a 15 seed already won today. I'm I'm putting it on the on the record right now. This is the next one. Texas, no, Texas will not lose this basketball game. I hope you're wrong. I hope I am too. But two 15 seeds? Are you kidding me? Yeah. You can clip this and post it wherever I, you I really want. Hope. <laughs> if Colgate, I was just thinking if that. Colgate wins this game, I'm like, I hope this is a clip tomorrow <laughs> on YouTube. I posted that video of the. The guy playing outfield at the Yankees game. Yeah, it, it's it gets like a hundred views a day. Dude, it's, I mean it's it was awesome. 5, the funny thing is, the night after, freaking John Boy, of course, is there and posts it, which is who the fuck is John Boy? Who he's like a baseball account. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. John Boy Media. I think someone sent that to him. You're Probably he was actually there? no. I didn't mean he was there. I mean but he could have yeah. he could have been there. It's Yankees. I think he's a Yankees fan. I knew that was a good opportunity. I, was, I I'm glad I was, I was like I'm gonna snag a video of this just to have in my pocket. And then I, I literally threw it up on YouTube and it has five thousand views, <laughs> <laughs> which is fucking crazy. Like that's just an easy view grab, and it, yeah. it's like that's like a it's like a dividend YouTube video. It's just paying me. That's views. when you repost too, it's right? Paying me views. Yeah. It's paying me a hundred views a day. Yeah. yeah. I just I keep checking it. and It good. keeps going up. Good. I don't know how I'm, I don't know if you ever get paid from the shorts, dude. I'm trying to get into the TikTok. The TikTok's been a challenge. TikTok. I watch TikTok a lot. Do you, what's the new? Do you know the new TikTok trend where it's like it's that song and it's like the screens jumping around and it's just words. It's like, hey, I shit my. Just so you know, I shit my pants and I have to wipe my ass. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up, pull up your TikTok. Pull I can't up, say. It. You do. You do. It's I like, can't say. I know what you're talking. You do. You do. Or it's like. There was one, it's like, dude, it's all I see. It's like the new trend. I'd show I, you. But how I, am I supposed to? I don't know. It's, ah, uh, shit. I can't remember the song. 
That's yeah. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> it's so it's like uh, how do I explain it? There was one of a dog. It was like it's like it's like this upbeat music and the dog like it's like an edit and it's like shooting like stars through the screen, but it's just all word. It's like a song, but it's words and like the words are like it's a dog and it's like just got done just got done shitting in the yard or just got done throwing up. I'm going to come kiss you on the mouth or something like that. Dude, I, 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 I don't know. When, uh, once we're done with that episode, yeah, you I'll, can I'll find one. one. Fuck, dude. It's like, it's like the biggest TikTok trend. I feel like it would be so easy to post one. Oh, I know one. There was one. It was like a guy, like some dude in college. And he put out, it was like a picture of him just standing there with his hands in his pants. And it was that, it's like a <laughs> song and an edit. And it was him going, the, the screen said, just so you know, my girlfriend's in Fort Lauderdale for spring break, and I haven't heard from her for three days. Everything's fine. Yeah, you know yeah. that trend? I mean, I've seen something. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, that. I feel like that's like easy. Like, yeah. what would mine be? It'd be like, just just took a 30-inch shit and ate 10 <laughs> Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Just say, yeah, just ate 10 Chick-fil-A sandwiches all in one bite. Just crushed six Miller Lights with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could probably post one of those. Everyone I see is like 100,000 likes. Everyone I see has a really? hundred thousand. Everyone I well, see. Well, that's because like the algorithms probably algorithm oh, is probably dude. showing you popular ones. That's I have a question about like the music on TikTok. Like how do how can you just post whatever music that is? Like what like the background? Yeah, music? is there no like copyright? Well, it's like you go on, like you could. You ever it's t- like through t- like already yeah, uploaded it's through, on TikTok. It's like select sound. I'll show you once we. Start. Yeah, I see. I it's was just like, curious, like if you had to like be careful about that stuff. No, no. You can, it, just, you can just pull up a Bad Bunny song and just play it yeah. as your background. Oh yeah, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll that's so up. weird. I don't understand. YouTube, I've had like four YouTube videos get copyright claimed. Yeah, that's what I mean. Four like, of them, just but, because I, I. But here's the thing: I bought, I bought a royalty free instrumental. Like mm-hmm. it's it, that's the whole point. Like I paid money to own the license of the song. Okay. And it's like okay, I should be good, but then I posted the I po- I used the song on YouTube. And YouTube's like, no, this is a copyright claim. It's this artist. But I'm like, no, I paid money to have the license. Yeah. YouTube. Okay. But I, you could finesse. you The podcast, though, like the podcast app or like the Spotify podcast They'll take app, it down. No, they don't care. Oh. I don't think so. Okay. I don't really, because you, like I listen to old episodes of Joey Diaz. He has music mm. every, I mean, he's only playing a minute. I think there's a limit. Of how long you can play it. I'm like, dude, you need to add the CBS. Dun, That's what dun, I need. Dun, 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 and then dun, 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 dun. I could just, <laughs> like you need that. Yeah, I could just mute it for YouTube. Like, there's yeah. a, there's a okay. feature. Like, fuck, fuck YouTube. We'll just mute it for yeah, YouTube. Yeah, it just makes me curious. No, it's not. That's like the next thing that I've been trying to learn about is the mute. You know, what what can I get away with music? Because I want to play music. Yeah. I just want to put my phone. Into that. It takes it up a notch. And, I mean, it's just, it's hard to do like all to yourself too. So it's not hard. It's just I'm worried. I don't want any of the copyright. It's a lot coming down. Yeah, you know? it's a lot to, we'll, to we'll worry look about. Into that. Yeah, we'll research the the music ability because I feel like I could play because I could just plug this in to this right here. Yeah, this would this could plug into my phone and you could just play it off off okay. the music app. Okay, so we can get some we can get some music reviews and shit. That'd be fun. No, we'll plug your phone. You're you're the phone guy, so we'll plug your phone in. Okay. Instead of just the real fuck the royalty free shit, I'll just mute it. I'll mute it on YouTube. Gotcha. We're gonna play. We'll play two chains. We'll play little dirt. We'll play little baby. We'll play whoever you want. ACDC. ACDC. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Oh, that was good. Who else, Turk? Who else you want to hear? I I just wanted to hear the uh, CBS theme music for March Madness. That's that's all I was asking for. They might have that. I'm sure they, they might do. copyright. Fuck it. We'll figure I'm sure it out. they do. Yeah, <laughs> they probably do. All right. Score sure. update. Auburn, 36. Iowa, 29. Should we dive into these games? Should we dive? Yeah, we'll dive in. We'll end the pot here. Yeah. We're at an hour and 20. That's pretty fucking solid. We've just been chatting away. We've just been chatting, drinking Miller Lights. You got three fucking screens. No real crazy upsets. I mean, we jumped on right after Princeton just took down Arizona. It was a bad time. It was like the only game going on. That was it. We just got here. We caught, but, we caught uh, the bad end. Yeah, maybe we'll have to catch up next week and um, talk Valspar, talk Valspar, me you're, going, to Orlando, going to Orlando as long as Duke doesn't win by 50 and drive prices up to $200, but I, I don't think that'll happen. It should be. Yeah, but... We'll have the sports report for all of you next week. 
the Bayside Report. I don't know what the fuck else is going on. I'm going to Pittsburgh for two weeks. I'm going to the Dominican Republic for a week. So we're going to take a week off. That's not till April, right? In April. Okay. Yeah, my birthday. San, what's that? Punta Cana. Punta okay. Cana for a week. Then I'm back here May 1st in the new place. I might be crashing on your couch for a night. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be here. We might be doing a little podcast a couple, couple nights a week from, from the couch. But then I'm in the new Clearwater studio slash living quarters slash pulling hot tub yeah and scientologists are yeah. going to be fucking everywhere it's going to be amazing relax all right everyone thank thanks you. for having me on dog this thanks. was this is great you're you're the new you're the fucking jamie joe rogan of, of <laughs> this the is great Side report this you're, is great you're gonna be the next we're gonna set you up we're gonna that's gonna be your tv yeah we're gonna get you we'll give you my computer and you're just gonna search shit okay. we're gonna we're gonna search shit right. and we're gonna go down a rabbit hole but write it down Duke, Write it down. Duke National Champion. Duke National Champions. <laughs> Don't fucking forget it. All right, everyone. The Bayside Report. We'll be back probably next Tuesday at some point, I assume. Maybe we'll get Santino on. Yeah, that'd we'll be get fun. the boys. We'll get a little trio. A little triad. We'll get him. We'll get him on the Zoom. But all right, everyone. Thanks for listening. This is Bryant Turk, Pittsburgh native. Now thanks again. A, now he's a Tampa Bay fellow. Fucking March Madness. Enjoy. Have a good weekend. If you're Irish. Happy St. fucking Patrick's Day. Go find drink yourself. Some, drink some Guinness. A grab a gold. Grab a pint. Grab a pint. Day, the, day in the life of a true Brexit geezer. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. God bless.